What's up, fellas? Okay, it is Sunday today, and I just felt like doing a vlog. Um, I don't know why, because I don't need to have a why. Just because I want to. Um, well, it's Sunday. It's about 9.30, I think. Maybe 10. 9.42. Today, I'm just going to kind of show you what a typical day in quarantine is like for me. Typical Sunday, at least. My apartment is kind of a mess. I've left it pretty messy over the past couple days, which is not the best. Um, so I need to clean a lot today. I think that's gonna be the main thing on the agenda. I also definitely have to shoot content for my food Instagram. I have to ship out some Poshmark orders. I have to send some emails and check in with some of my coaching clients. It's a kind of a busy day. Um, I did nothing yesterday, so that's probably why. I'm also gonna do some laundry right now. And I don't know if I'm gonna work out today. It's TBD. If, it, if I am, it's gonna be later. But I'm gonna get ready to. Should I show a makeup routine? Okay, I just ran the laundry and now, um, why am I filming myself in the mirror? I wanted to talk about some of the beauty things I use. Not that I really use that many things because one, I don't like spending money on it. And two, I just, I don't know. It's not my, it's not my thing. I'm not a beauty person. <laughs> Um, but this is one of them that I swear by these days. It's it's a 10. It's leave-in It's like a leave-in spray thing and I use it after the shower after I shampoo and condition my hair And I don't know what it is, but I feel like my hair has always been Like it's always tangly when I get out of the shower once I started using this Oh, it was a game changer. Um, it just leaves my hair so like easy to brush and it just makes it feel way better and my hair's like grown a lot ever since I started using it so I really like it also what I use to wash my face though I have some I'm breaking out right now um, but what I use every night pretty much it's like Stridex I don't know I have a pretty oily face so I like something that sucks up the oil I know a lot of people don't like that because it stings their face and makes it really dry but I have an oily face so I feel like that just gets out all of like the dirt from my pores and the oil, so I love that. I've been using that for years. I guess that's that's kind of it. Um, um, when I'm like, when my hair's kind of greasy, it's not today, but when my hair's kind of greasy, I also use this dry shampoo, the Batiste, um, just kind of in the middle of the day. This has this is like the blonde one, so kind of makes my hair more blonde too, which is seems a little bit weird. But yeah, th those are the those are my beauty secrets, because I know a lot of you guys were wondering. Not at all. Okay, I've just been cleaning out my kitchen. Um, and since I have a food Instagram, I get a lot of free product. And a lot of it I just don't have the chance to use because they send me multiples of each thing. So every now and again, I do giveaways for my followers and I just send them a package of the stuff that I have extras of. And I actually just did one a week ago because I just have, I have way too much stuff in my pantry right now. And I just cleaned my pantry out again and I still had a whole nother round of stuff that I can send um, to one of my followers. So I am posting a giveaway right now. Uh, with all of this stuff And then I just ship it in obviously this giant box to someone so if you want a chance to win these go follow my food Instagram at one crazed foodie and Enter to win. Okay, this gives you a better look. It's very natural Just kind of covers up the blemishes <laughs> Oh my gosh, I think I just blinked too hard now my mascara is everywhere. Oh no, it's fine. Um, yeah, so this is what I've been doing. It's a really underwhelming makeup routine, but I just thought I'd show you guys in case anyone was curious. And also, let me show you my outfit. So I've been wearing this Outdoor Voices exercise dress. It has like a spandex liner right here. Um, so it's, it's spandex lined all throughout, but oh my gosh, guys, I am literally obsessed. It is the most comfortable thing ever. I only have it in two colors right now. I have it in this evergreen color, and then I also have it in a pink color, but you also don't have to wear a bra with it, which is really nice. Um, at least I don't. Could I exercise in it without a bra? Probably not, but I just like wearing it around. It's so comfortable. The only thing is that it kind of shows your sweat if you start sweating a lot, at least in these, in the lighter colors. I think in the black it obviously wouldn't, but. Oh my gosh, my hair. Oh, okay, let me show you my, my hair tool I've been loving, and it makes my hair so nice. 
It's this Revlon like air blow drying tool. It like blow dries through these little thingies and then you brush your hair and it just kind of makes it nice. I don't know how to explain it. I need to step up my beauty, <laughs> beauty things, beauty, beauty on YouTube. I can't talk. Okay, see that maybe took five minutes and my hair is nice and straight, a lot less poofy. Um, yeah, I really like that tool. So shout out to Ellie for getting it for me for Christmas. I'm also about to wear these gold hoops. They're from Urban Outfitters and I've been wearing them all the time. Just nice and easy, they don't irritate my ears. The final look. Um, it's so hot in here, I am sweating. I am dripping sweat. I have my air conditioner going there, but again, it doesn't really, doesn't bent through this whole apartment, which kind of sucks. So I'm really, really, it has to be like 80 degrees in here, I'm not even kidding. It's supposed to be like 90 degrees here in Portland, but then I really need to take advantage of it because it's supposed to be like 60 and raining for the next week, and I'm not about that. So I think I'm gonna go outside eventually, but I really need clean, I need clean. I just um, ate lunch and I finished folding my laundry, I cleaned the kitchen, I vacuumed everything. Um, I still have a little bit more cleaning to do. I have to clean my bathroom, and I'm just going to tidy everything up later, but I kind of just want to chill for now, so I'm going to read a book on this iPad. I actually finished a book yesterday. It was called, let me read it for you. It was called The Fifth Vital. It's by Mike Majlock. I forgot, I don't know how to say his last name. Um, he's a YouTuber, actually. He's on Team Maverick with Logan Paul, woo woo. Um, but he actually overcame drug addiction and the book was really good. I like listened to their podcast and I was very intrigued um, just hearing his whole story. It's honestly amazing. Like I have a lot of respect for him and what he's overcome, so I really actually like that book a lot. I'll leave a link down in the description below. Kind of everything in this video, the links will be down below. But yeah, now I'm trying to figure out what book I want to read next, but I'll keep you guys updated. I'm just, I usually just read books on like the bookstore. See, that's what, that's the one I read. Um, I always just buy it online because I'm too lazy to wait for it to come to my um, apartment. So I always just read the books either on my computer or this iPad now that I just got it a couple weeks ago, so. It's 3.34 now. I just finished up reading some of The Power of Habit. I thought I was closer to the end of the book, but I guess I'm only about halfway, whoops. So I, I'm definitely gonna read more of that tonight. And it's, did I already say it's 3.30? I forgot. But it's 84 degrees and I am really sunburned from yesterday, but I'm gonna go for a walk, probably like a mile, uh, three mile walk, mile and a half out, mile and a half back just to get some sunshine and to leave the house today because I always feel bad if I like, don't leave the house and I just stay cooped up in my apartment all day long. So I'm gonna walk, probably listen to a podcast or something, call my mom because it's Mother's Day and yeah. Woo, I am back where I started. Um, that was about two and a half miles, I think. I don't know, it was like an hour long walk. I called my mom, just listened to some tunes. This is honestly my least favorite time of the day, it's 4.30. I'm so sweaty, but I'm drinking a LaCroix. This is the coconut flavor, if you know, you know. This flavor sucks, but it's the only flavor I've left. I got a Costco pack, like the variety pack. So I only have like six of these left and I'm not looking forward to it. It tastes like I'm um, drinking zinc. <laughs> I never feel the most productive this time of day. I actually liked having class in college this time of day just because it kind of occupied the time and I just sat and kind of just listened. I think one of the things I've really learned during this quarantine is like when I'm the most productive and when I'm not. Definitely when I first wake up, I think I'm the most productive in terms of like actual work and at night. I tend to get a lot of work done at night, but then in the afternoon, it's never really that productive. Like from two to six, I just never feel that productive. So I think reading has been a good thing to do and then obviously going for a walk today, but I'm feeling really sweaty now, but I'm thinking I'm just gonna sit on this couch and read, so. It's about 6 p.m. and I just made some dinner, literally just all leftovers basically. Um, so I'm gonna do this, watch some, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube videos, and keep reading. Okay, I got bored of reading, so 
I'm going to start meal prepping for this coming week. My kitchen has the worst lighting, I swear. Um, I'm just gonna make some overnight oats and I think some Brussels sprouts because those are the things I really like to just have ready on hand. I just finished making my overnight oats. I actually think I'm gonna make another one just so I can have it for the next day and so I don't have to make it tomorrow night again. Um, and then my Brussels sprouts are cooking over here. As per usual, whoa. The day is winding down. It's getting dark in my apartment. Um, it's 7.20 and I am just here on my computer and I'm gonna start kind of like sending some emails, um, anything left over from last week, just getting things started for this next week. And then I'm also going to plan this next week in my passion planner. Um, I'm definitely someone that likes to plan everything. Like I need to write it down somewhere else or I'm gonna forget it. And I've always, I, I'm not really like a Google Calendar person. I don't like doing online stuff because I find it, it's just not as satisfying, I guess. Like I like writing it down by hand so that I can cross it off, get it done, make sure it all gets done. Um, yeah, so. Oh, I also clean my bathroom. And my kitchen's pretty clean, so. I think we're all good. Just got out of the shower check. Um, I use this, it's a 10, obviously. Now my hair is so soft. But also I forgot to mention, one of my last skincare things that I use is this Mario, what is it, Bad Dis, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try to say it. Um, it's just facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Um, I think my brother got this for me when he was like 18 and he got it for all the sisters because he had no idea what to get for them. And I didn't use it until this year. Like two years later, so thanks Steven. Um, I think that's gonna end today's video. I'm actually editing this video right now. It's gonna go up, well, for you guys today. And I kind of enjoyed this, just filming my day, just being casual. You know, kind of reminded me of the good old days when I actually used to vlog, so. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to follow me on my food Instagram, One Craze Foodie, if you want kind of more life updates. I have not been posting on my personal one just because I didn't really know what to post and haven't really been into it. So the food Instagram is what, what I've been spending the time on. So make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, fellas.